Hello, it's Mark Matosh here from Markham 3D, and today we're going to be talking about decal machining. Oh my goodness, I did not realize it could do all this stuff. So I've installed it. I'm going to press D to bring it up, and I'm going to select one of the default decals that come with it. Let's select this cool looking thing. I'm going to press G to grab and hold control, and let's snap that in place. That looks amazing. However, let's put it on the severe. So I'm going to shift D, hold control to snap it to surface. Let's just scale that down a little bit. What I can do now is obviously it's hanging in midair. I can press D and project. And now it's stuck to the surface. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. That is cool. I want to create my own. No worries. Shift A, mesh, plane. Documentation is pretty good on this. Um, it's all videos, not a lot of written stuff. So if you want more information, I'm going to like breeze over this stuff. So I've created a plane. It's the flat surface is sitting on the origin. And now if I want to do stuff underneath to make my own decal, so I'm just going to press I, let's go G Y. Let's move it over to the edge. I'm just going to put a bevel there. And what else could we do just to show like difference here and extrude. I'm just going to make a little one. <laughs> Let's just do this. Let's select these two control numpad plus. There we go. We've got everything we need selected. I'm going to do control B and let's round that up. Cool. Let's turn this into a decal. I'm going to press N to bring up the side menu and click on machine over here in the decal creation panel. I'm going to just simply create, create simple decal. And after a few seconds, I now have G Y a decal. So if I come over here, G X scale, there we go. I made a stinking decal and how does it go on the sphere? Well, let's put that on there. D project. Oh my goodness. It is amazing. So let's do another quick example. Let's just work on the ship. I'm just going to turn on EV renderer. We can see we've got a very simple scene. Let's just add some random stuff. So go this, uh, this vent thingamajiggy scale, rotate ZZ X, I mean 90, sorry. Place that there, D, project that puppy. Nice, let's just go, sorry, D again. Let's add something else in here. This thing, G, hold control, rotate Z, 90 degrees, Z again let's scale that up. That's a little bit too much. Cool. And let's add a few more things. Let's add some Allen keys, Allen. And I'm just going to spot these around very ununiformly. Look at that. Look at the difference. <laughs> Mind blown. Let's just add one of the other decals, just like the word alpha decals first. Um, let's just go, where's my forward? There's the forward one. Just so people know which way is forward. I'm going to scale that in, hold control. There we go. Just, just, oh, let's go D project. Mind blown. Amazing. Now this is something that hasn't really been spoken about. Now, if you've been following my tutorials and there will be a tutorial on this for unreal engine coming out soon. As soon as I saw that I had decal machine, the keyword there is decal. Let's make some decals. I'm going to come over into decal creation. I'm going to click on info. I'm going to load an image. I'm going to open up a PNG. I want decal grunge leaking a PNG. Create info decal. G, let's hold control. Let's go Alt R just to reset the rotation. G control, rotate Z, Z 90 degrees. And we will just plop that in there. Whoops, G control. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I hate texturing. And I made that just then. <coughs> So this is an amazing tool. It's a very powerful tool. Um, and I will be smashing this puppy. 
Um, there's a link down below for Gumroad. Um, I've got an affiliate link. If you don't want to support me for some odd reason, you can always go through the Blender Market. Please make sure you hit like and subscribe to me to make sure that you keep up to date with any videos that are coming out.